Today we are celebrating 150 years of Scripture Union and everything they've done to introduce children to the Christian faith. And we'll be joining Her Majesty the Queen in this celebration. Welcome to Songs of Praise. Everybody, including me, is very excited about the arrival of our guest of honour. As our reigning monarch, Her Majesty the Queen is the supreme governor of the Church of England, and her personal Christian faith plays a central role in her life. The setting for this 150th celebration is here at St Mary's Church in Islington, close to where the charity began. And it's where all our music comes from today. As well as celebrating the past, today is also about the future. So there are lots of children from local schools in the congregation. Our first hymn was written 50 years ago for the centenary of Scripture Union and gives thanks for God's faithfulness through the years.
began here in North London in 1867, as dramatised by Christian actors Christopher Poach and Jonathan Maltz. It all started with the Bible, the scriptures from which a union was formed. Josiah Spires, a 31-year-old office clerk, was an ordinary man with a desire to read the Bible. Let the little children come to me. Do not hinder them. Inspired by the words of Jesus, this ordinary man did something extraordinary. In fact, he did something radical for the year 1867. He opened the doors of 309 Essex Road, Islington for a gathering of children. He had the desire to see them each develop a personal relationship with Jesus, the light of the world. Speaking of a shining light, it's a marvellous day. To the beach at Clandidno. For all who call upon the name of the Lord will be saved. But how can they be saved if no one tells them? Next stop, Clandidno! Sat at the beach at Clandidno, Josiah made a declaration in the sand. God is love! And he invited all the children at the beach to decorate it. Sit, gather round. So what do you have for us today, Mr. Spires? How old are you, boy? I'm ten. Um, what are they feeding you up here? No, I have a story to tell you. New ideas were springing up. In 1892, two students from Cambridge University had come up with a novel idea to create a boys' camp. Our plan is as follows. To collect as many intents as possible. And to provide all the sports and amusements dear to the heart of boys. And whilst in the midst of these enjoyments, they shall learn more by example than by words. Therefore, let your light shine before others, so they may see your good deeds and give glory to the Father. Dear, a storm's coming. Best get inside. 1914. A fatal shot sparks the war to end all wars. The world was plunged into a storm of darkness. But Scripture Union did not stand still and decided to print booklets of Bible notes for the British Tommies on the front line, which led to the first issue of daily notes for adults in 1923. The Lord is my light and salvation. In whom shall I fear? But the world has changed in those years. How do we keep up with a generation that feels so disconnected? Well, the message hasn't changed. That's it, children. Write it out. God is love. That's right, kids. Write it out. God is love. <laughs> <laughs>